Why should Europe care about the regional security of West Africa and the Sahel uh, in the first place? Well, West Africa and the Sahel are not as far away from Europe as we often uh, mistakenly um, think. There are a number of uh, challenges affecting the region that also have repercussions for Europeans. For instance, European countries have several business interests uh, across the region, uh, and therefore, if a terrorist attacks, um, targets one of their uh, infrastructure, that's of, that's of course a great concern for European companies working, for instance, in the extractive uh, or construction industry. There's also a threat for European nationals who live and work across the region who have often uh, in recent years been uh, targeted, killed or kidnapped by the criminal and violent extremist uh, groups. There is also uh, the, the challenge of criminal flows that go through the West African and Sahel region uh, and, and reach and you reach Europe. We're not talking about drug trafficking, but also human uh, trafficking and human smuggling. And uh, and certainly, if we uh, think that uh, if we see greater instability uh, across West Africa uh, uh, in the Sahel turning into conflict. This means that Western and European intervention may at some point be required. Think, for instance, of the crisis in Mali and uh, the French-led intervention that was, uh, that was then uh, deployed in 2013. What did the decision to intervene in Libya mean to the regional security of West Africa and the Sahel? Well, the uh, repercussions of the, uh, of the Libyan crisis certainly have been uh, of great concern for, for, for the broader region. The flow of mercenaries and, and weapons in particular from Libya following the fall of Gaddafi into northern Mali have uh, allowed groups that have gone on the ground, for instance uh, the Tuaregs, to re-emerge and to be re-energized. They've also made it possible for new groups such as uh, extremists uh, Ansar al din uh, to emerge. So certainly we can see the fallback of the Libyan crisis and its repercussion across the region. You mentioned that Europe's uh, foreign aid very much um, is based on European standards. Now how can Europe improve its understanding of the root causes of poverty in West Africa and Sahel? Well, I think it's very important that when devising uh, initiatives aimed at promoting new development or strengthening the security uh, sector uh, across uh, West Africa and the Sahel, it is paramount that uh, Western partners work very closely with, uh, with local stakeholders. Perhaps not just within governments and the military, but also across civil, uh, civil societies in order to fully understand what is needed, what is feasible, and what the absorption capacity is on the ground.